What's going on people of the internet and today's video is on another YouTuber, right? I thought I would never make another exposing video on a YouTuber, but it turns out I have to now, don't I? Someone left in the comments about eight hours ago to make a video on this guy called Kane Thomas. I have no idea who this YouTuber is. I've never seen his content. I've never seen anything, but apparently he's a YouTuber who basically makes a video on Sis vs Bro, another YouTube channel which is a kid's channel so it does sound a bit odd anyway scrolling through his channel you can see you know there's many many videos made on sis vs bro we're just going to review one of his videos and see what is wrong with sis vs bro probably nothing i hope he doesn't copyright strike me anyway because you know that's what youtubers do if someone makes an exposing video they want to get that video down as soon as possible what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Right, so I thought once again we'll go ahead and make another Sis vs Bro video. Within the next couple of weeks, so I'm going to start uploading more than one video a week. I do have some videos planned. And they're not all Sis vs Bro videos. Yeah, um... I'm not surprised what the next one's going to be. Is it going to be Sis vs Bro go on an adventure? Or is it going to be Sis vs Bro are exposed for the same thing over and over again? I mean, it does get a bit boring, if I'm being honest. It does get a bit boring. The reason I want to start uploading more is because I want to upload even more content that isn't just this versus bro video, so yeah. But it's not that, though, is it? You keep on uploading the same thing. You keep on making more and more videos on Sis vs Bro. I'd rather make original content, and I have been making my original content in the past, but I went straight to commentary because it's just so much easier for me to be able to keep up my original content. It's going to take a few hours out of my day and I can't, I don't have a few hours out of my day. So reacting to videos on Barcroft TV is just, it's just so much easier. Anyway, if I seem like I've not got that much energy, it's because I'm a little bit ill. But obviously we can't miss out on a video every week. So here you go, you've got your video. So we're going to be going ahead and reacting to Ronald Says Yes to Karina for 24 hours. We've watched the other two versions of this, so I thought, <laughs> let's finish it off. Anyway I'm just going to halt in mid because I don't want to leech off someone else's success, okay? But this, this sis versus bro habit it has to stop, man, because this is not, this is not good. This is not a healthy habit at all. It's a bit concerning. We've all come to a conclusion, guys. King Thomas, nonce. That's the thing, you never make a video on hating a child. It's just wrong. You should have, you should have that mindset, right? You should know. I'm looking at this video he made a year ago. Calling Durva at 3am. Almost died. Very scary. Now, there's something off about that title. If you didn't know, Durva is another YouTuber with over 1.2 million subscribers. But I don't see why calling Durva at 3am would kind of kill you at all. So it's probably a bit of, it's, it's, it's probably just clickbaited. So on Saturday night, I came home, laid in bed, started scrolling through YouTube and uh, do not FaceTime yourself at 3am popped up. Dave is back. So I thought today we're going to sit down as Dave actually made my channel back in the day, back a year ago, I used to make multiple videos on him. And I thought we'd take it back, you know, and hope that this gets reviews. Kane, I don't think this has worked because you only had 1,900 views on this and you have a 37,000 subscriber channel at this point in time. See Kane, your problem is Oh, let's just hope this gets good views. You don't want to leech off other YouTubers, do you? Hmm, let's give that a think. I mean, how much thinking time do we need? Let's have a look. Hmm. If I'm being honest, right, how the hell does he have 30,000 subscribers? It doesn't make any sense. I think maybe you did Sis vs Bro videos because they did okay. Maybe you did it because there's more watch time involved. I mean, I don't know your situation in this case because, you know, I'm only a 700 subscriber channel. I'm not famous enough, you know? Honestly, why would you want a, a reason to hate a YouTuber? I just don't see, I don't see the point in hating on other YouTubers. Like, yeah, this may be an exposing video. This is an exposing video, but I'm not directing any hate towards him. He needs to change his personality. He needs to change his type of videos in order to improve and expand his audience. Before I finish this video, I'm sorry I haven't really uploaded much recently. I haven't been really feeling myself. I've been feeling quite down. I've not really had the motivation to upload in quite a bit of time, <laughs> a week. I've got new lighting, if you can see, yes, it's crystal clear quality on the screen right now, and I'm happy about it. 
Anyway guys, don't put any hate on this guy's channel because no one deserves hate these days. It's not good to direct any hate. All I did was criticise him and saying what he could improve for his channel. I'll put his link to his channel down below because he seems like a decent guy. You don't want to make a video on a younger YouTuber who's about 12 or something. It, it just seems a bit off. It really does seem a bit off. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. Also, don't forget to turn your post notifications on to receive notifications of my videos in the future. Anyway, peace out, stay awesome, have a great day, and I shall see you in the next video. Stephen Lights.